Hey everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. You've probably just watched my unboxing, if you have, I'll be using the razor from that unboxing. I've got a, a lovely Star Wars cups that the kids have got. Chockers full of ice, I've got a basin full of already cold water. For some reason I've got my brush soaking in lukewarm water. And I'm going to be using today a cream which... Uh, oh, oh. What more can I say? It's made in the country where I was born, the country that, that's in my blood. Castle Forbes, Scotland. Lime, it's a lime essential oil. Lime essential oil shaving cream. So that's the, the logo and the packaging. Beautiful bright green lime, black lid. I love the black and lime, it just really stands out. Uh, Paul H Films did a review on this recently. <clears throat> I'll just show you again, just in case you didn't watch, this lid that's on here has got a second lid just to sort of take the air out. Now, when you pull this off and push it back on again, you'll hear it. Pushing the air back out. So it actually takes the air out of the soap, which in my opinion would allow it to last longer. Now the scent on this is absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> it is like you've rolled a, I don't know how, how you guys do your lines, but I always roll a line. So that's your, chopping board and I roll it on the chopping board quite quite firmly to release all the juices inside and then I slice it and that initial slice, that smell that comes out is literally like opening that, slicing the lime. One of my viewers, subscribers, I can't, I'm sorry mate, I know it was this morning but I'm a bit tired, asked about my favourite lime scented soap. I know this stuff's going to perform, it's got great reviews everywhere, I don't think it's going to be any different for me but scent wise, this is the most true to lime scent that I think you'll ever get. This and the Elvado. Uh, everything else that I've got, I think I've got another three or four. I've got the Lav Sublime, Lime Soda, and Taconic uh, Tequila Lime, which is a real funky sort of smell. But none of them smell like real, real lime. Uh, so here we go. I'm just gonna, I've got a, bit, a little bit of soap on the lid there. I should have been a little bit more prepared. Now, I'm not really 100% sure how much of this cream you need, but I can tell you one thing. This tub of cream <laughs> will probably outlive me. It's got that much cream in it. <clears throat> right, so let me just put this back together. So that's the actual tub as it comes there. Beautiful. And all I've done today is I've just rubbed a good amount of it just around my Saponificio Varicino Grail bowl. And I'm going to be using my wolf whiskers today. Before I do it, Geisha Queen's Crown Coffee. I've just went black today and it's absolutely beautiful. It's a gorgeous coffee. I feel sorry for you guys that aren't in Australia that can't have it. I don't know whether you can actually ship this out, but it is by far the nicest coffee that I've ever had. Right, okay, so I've had my wolf whiskers soaking now. That's the wolf whiskers there. Tyrian shaped handle, iron thrown colours with a 24mm uh, TGN two band finest knot, which luckily enough for me has got hook tips and gel tips and a beautiful scent now because it's absorbed all the scents of my lovely soaps, which is nice. Right, <coughs> so squeezed out most of the water. I'm just going to go straight into the bowl now and start with Now I have done a test lather with this uh, when I compared it with the Elvaro. Uh, look at that, I've only just started opening and it's already pouring out the sides. And if I'm honest, it, it was a better, better sort of cream than what the Elvaro was. But I'm not saying Elvaro was poor, the Elvaro was an excellent, excellent lather. But this just was just that little bit, that next level up, I think, unfortunately, for Elvado. But it's very difficult to reach the standards of some of these creams and soaps that are out there. I'm not sure, I haven't done any research on Castle Forbes. I know that they make beautiful stuff. I've also going to be finishing off today with the Castle Forbes Lime Aftershave Balm. And I know that they make, obviously, gorgeous scents. Lovely, lovely creams that lather well. It's, uh, 
it's all essential oils. There's no artificial scents in here, no artificial really anything in it. I think it's a, it's a very clean set of ingredients as well. But the one thing I'm not sure on is whether they're actually an artisan or a major sort of corporation and this is just a small branch of the, the bigger picture if you know what I mean. Almost there, as you can see. That's what I've got so far, but it just needs a just needs a little bit more work. I don't know if it needs a little bit more water, actually, if I'm honest. No, I don't think it does. It just needs a little bit more of a, a bit more swishing. Cramp in my hand, eh? The joys of being a window cleaner. Right, so I'm extremely happy with what's here. The bowl's full, my brush is chockers. And the scent's lovely. It's not a strong, strong scent. It's probably out the tub, maybe a five, four or five. Excuse me. Out of the bowl, it's, it's almost a sort of three or four. Now it is the real lime scent, I'm not going to deny it, but it's not a strong scent. It's not like a, the lime soda which is going to, I've not used it yet for a shave, but I know it's going to be really strong. Um, now the Elvado one as well, I would say, it's just slightly stronger in scent than what this one is. Not much, but slightly. Right. I've just remembered I haven't put a bloody blade in my razor. Look at the peak on that, look that's just sitting there, it's not even bending. <laughs> Mr. Whippy style. Right. So it's not even been 24 hours since I had my last shave. I'm gonna put this bloody collar down. Gotta put my collar up over here when it's very hot just to sort of aid in keeping the sun off my neck. I do wear a hat that covers the back of my neck as well. Let's see how we go with this. I don't think when I did this. When I did the lather test the last time, I don't think I actually put it on my face. I will say something with this here, this feels a little bit airy. I think I might have had too much water in my brush and not enough soap, not enough cream in the bowl. Right, just gonna let that sit on my face while I go and get my blade. So the razor for today 
is the Gillette Slim Twist adjustable, which is absolutely beautiful. This one is in very, very, very good condition. All the numbers are marked lovely, there's hardly a mark on it. A tiny little bit of spotting there on the finish, but that's it. There's no brassing, no platings come away, nothing at all. So, as I'm using a vintage Gillette, I'm going to use a good quality Gillette blade, the Gillette Platinum. And feather, if you're watching, that's how it's wrapped, double wrapped, double wrapped. That's the blade there, Gillette Platinum, comes in a package like that. I'm just going to pop that on the top. Just close this down a bit, and I think it's only a day shave, so I'm going to start on setting five, my lucky number. That feels great, blade alignment looks pretty spot on and the shaving cream hasn't dissipated at all I don't think it looks pretty good let's just see how we go oh that's really mild <laughs> that's really really mild well done guys setting nine If I'm honest, I'm on set 9, which is the most aggressive set or most efficient setting on this razor. It feels like setting 1 on my Mergress. Slickness of the cream appears to be very, very good. And it is just smooth. As any razor I've used, if I'm honest. Very, very smooth. It's quite a bit of hip to this. It doesn't look like much. The gentleman I actually bought it from is a, he's now pretty much a mate of mine. Now he's, a, he's an older fella, but he's a Celtic supporter through and through. And his go to razor is the Gillette Aristocut. And I, I like to see, I've never seen one before, the first time I'd held one. And it was super heavy. It was thinner than this, but really heavy. Uh, it was the, the junior or something he had. And it was a beautiful mechanism and everything. But these are. And knew how to make razors back then, I tell you what, that's so smooth. It's not funny how smooth that is. The lather. The lather's good. And it's very slick. But it does still feel a little bit airy. I think I might have not used enough soap. Enough cream, sorry, I don't think I put enough in the bowl. Probably being a bit cautious instead of just throwing caution to the wind and just chucking loads in there. But I'm really getting the scent, and I tell you what's annoying me. It's not the scent of the soap. Sorry, the I keep calling it soap. It's not the lime scent that's getting to me. I can actually smell the other smells in my brush. Because this is such a such a subtle scent. So if you get this, this, this cream, in my opinion, this is a cream to be used with a synthetic brush to get the full effect of the cream itself. And that's what I'll do in my next shave with it, which won't be too long, too far away, I'll get it back out again. I'll use a synthetic with it and we'll really hopefully be able to get a good smell at it then when I'm using it because I can smell the citrus, I can smell it but it's almost mingled with the scent out of my brush so it's not quite as nice as I think it should be 
I fell in love with this razor already. Tell you what, I'm just going to dial it down to five now. Just to see if I can feel the difference. I can feel the difference of work. I'm getting cramp in my hand, it's actually... <laughs> I just peeled my finger over, can't hold a razor. Well, Carl, if you're watching, I know you got your fat boy recently, so this is the slim version of the fat boy really, it's a fat boy but it's a skinny one. Um, it's, yeah, I can see what you mean now mate, this is super smooth. I'm setting five, it doesn't even feel like it's doing anything. <laughs> it clearly is. That's, that's impressive. That's really impressive. I cannot feel it. I don't even feel it cutting the hair, if I'm honest. But that's really close for me for a second pass. Get back about this ladder, it's absolutely beautiful. It is slightly, I'm not going to lie, it is slightly foamy, it doesn't look like that on the camera. I know that it looks really thick and luxurious, which it is, it's very luxurious. It's a little bit airy, but it's still working very, very well. It's offering very, very good protection, very good slickness. It's allowing this razor to glide, and this razor glides anyway. Right, across the green, another direction. Gillette, if you're watching, <laughs> I've seen your video, you, you, um, Recent statements. Which give me the feeling that you're going back a bit to grassroots. Start making these again. Seriously, stop making that shit cartridge stuff. I know everything's got its place. I don't dispute that. But seriously, a cartridge razor does not come close to using one of these. And I know there's people out there that won't have time to do a DE shave and that's why they use cartridges and that's fine, that's fair enough but it should be the other way around, these should be a lot easier to get than it is to get a cartridge razor in my opinion for what this cost me today try to see if I can see what the code is out there, the code to Okay, 
key it's a key four the bot the base plate on this this plate here is absolutely spotless it's not got a mark on it it looks brand new so i'm not sure what k4 is but i know this razor's almost double my age probably and in about twice as good a condition <laughs> Well, this has really surprised the hell out of me using this razor. Right, let's just... Now, slickness. Slickness test isn't going to be great, I tell you right now, because there's not much... Right, I'm not putting the blade on my face here. I'm just going to show you, just using this bar without the blade, but you see the judder. There's no blade on my face here, I'm just giving you an idea. If I was putting the blade on, that's what it'd be pulling against. So slickness in between passes. I couldn't I couldn't shave with that and just have a few more scoops at my face once the once the cream's off. When the cream's on then the ladder's there, it's slick, it's protective, it smells great, it does a good job, but there's no slickness in between. Residual slickness is pretty poor. Um, and, and if I'm honest, but it could be the ladder I've made and I have said that several times now I don't know whether you can see in the bowl there all the bubbles it's quite an airy ladder so this really needs needs to be worked a bit more I think um, and possibly a little bit more I'll put a little bit more cream in next time that I do it it's still loads of ladder and it's worked well so I can't really argue with it Right, I'm going to dial this down right down to one and just see what happens. Probably nothing. Would you look at that? You've witnessing something I haven't been able to do since I started my weight shaving journey. Go across the green on my cheeks. <laughs> I'm actually almost baby smoothie. I haven't had that before. But in terms of everything else. So, one thing this has opened up to me now.
the residual slickness here now that I've got a little bit of still on there is actually quite nice. Oh, that's amazing. There you go. So it's taken me to find the razor probably twice my age to be able to shave against the grain. There's a little bit there, but that's definitely the closest I've had on my cheek since I started this journey. Scented tears. And then we'll go through what we've used, and I'll just have a little drink of my coffee. Shit, 26 minutes. Sorry guys, what can I say? I am full of shit today. I've made up for my two days of quietness and I'm pouring it all over you now. Right, so the cream today. Made in Scotland. Which sort of works quite well because my surname is Maiden. Maiden Scotland. Castle Forbes, Scotland. Lime Essential Oil Shaving Cream. Need to put a bit more cream in next time, I think, just to get that more luxurious, but beautiful cream, lovely scent. I have learned something today. Badger brushes that are tainted with other scents, stronger scents, are no good when you're using a light scent. So, that's just something I've learned, it's not something that I would have ever really given much thought to. And the brush for today, just giving a quick rinse out. It's the Wolf Whiskers Terrain 2 Band Finest. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brush. It really is. Right, and what am I talking about now? What am I talking about now? It's a Ponavicio Maracino Bowl. Talk about it every time I'm on here. If you don't have one, get one. Seriously, if you can afford one, get one. It's the best bowl you'll buy. You'll never buy another bowl, in my opinion. It's a good size, it's travel. You can take this handle out completely, flip it in the other way, and it's a travel companion. You can't, oh, actually, sorry, pull it out and you actually push it in through this way so the handle comes up inside, and it's great for traveling. Um, the razor for today was very surprising. The Gillette Slim Adjustable Twist, Twist Adjustable immaculate condition there's not hardly a mark on this razor a lot of weight to it all the get all the numbers click into place perfectly it opens and closes lovely it's got a lovely smooth smooth mechanism beautiful razor really is really really happy with it really impressed as well by the quality of it I, i'm not i wasn't big i really didn't want to get a vintage razor now that i've got that i'm really glad i have and it's probably given me a bit of a bug now to get some Really, really naughty, really bad thing to do. And then we finished it off with Thea's Unscented Witch Hazel with aloe vera, alcohol free. And then I'm going to finish off now with just give it a good shake first Castle Forbes Lime Aftershave Balm. This stuff, the soap smells good. This stuff's about three times as strong as scent. It's probably going to shoot everybody. Nope. Now from here, if I just give the bottle a squeeze, instant, instant beautiful lime is like the most intense lime scent that you could ever get. It's like lime cordial, but you know this is all natural. And it smells absolutely divine. So I'm just gonna use a bit more than I have to. So there we go. Oh, 
that scent is it's just if you like citrus scents this is the one for you if you if, not for even if you like it if you love citrus scents even if you don't buy the soap buy that balm it is just bottled limes the most beautiful beautiful scented limes you could ever smell but I have heard that the post shave feeling with this balm is incredible as well So we shall see. I can still smell it. Oh yes, I've washed my hands and I can still smell it in my hands. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Well guys, I have held you up for 31 minutes. That's got to be some sort of record for a face shave for me. I don't know why it's took so long. I've just really, really enjoyed this one. If you're new to the channel, it's the first time you've watched me. I'm sorry it's so long, but my channels, my videos are generally about 20 minutes long for a face shave, half an hour, sometimes 40 minutes for a head shave, but they do take longer. I've got to be more careful with them. If you haven't subscribed and you want to subscribe, you want to see more content, click down here. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.